Welcome to another Pause for Thought. As God's people, though scattered, we remain united. Though preoccupied, we choose in these moments to draw aside, gathering the whole of our fragmented pieces to be present in his presence. So come, receive love, peace, hope and life afresh. And as we listen to our first hymn, Amidst the song of the birds, let's give thanks to God for his abiding presence, his watching and waiting, his keeping and blessing. Shepherd, we praise you for the constancy of your love, for the certainty of your welcome, the comfort of your presence. We praise you that each person is valuable to you, known and precious, that your welcome is for all. Among all you provide for us, so often we choose to do it our way. So we pause to say sorry for our taking for granted your blessings. Sorry for the times when we think we have known best. For failing to model your welcome and compassion. Having received your grace afresh, may we go forward resolved to live that grace and share it more generously. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, my guide, my sat-nav, my personal trainer, my president, my prime minister, my mentor, the one I look to. I have everything I need. I want plenty of things, long for so much, desire a world of things, but what, Lord, do I need? He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. Lord, we burn ourselves out at times, take on too much. Please help us to pause, to find moments of refreshment amidst the busyness. He renews my strength. We are so tired at times, so wrung out from the day. Renew our strength, Lord. Please give us patience and endurance. He guides me along right paths, bringing honour to his name. It's easy to get lost, to become distracted and to lose our way. Please guide us in our decision making this week, Lord. Even when I walk through the dark valley of evil, I will not be afraid. The news can be bad. It can frighten and overwhelm us. Help us to see it through your eyes. Give us comfort, compassion and courage. For you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect me and comfort me. Popular opinion informs us that there is nothing out there, but you promise to always be with us, to never leave us. Help us to remember that, Lord, in all that happens this week. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. Enemies appear in many guises, peer pressure, cynicism, rebuffs and negative criticism. Your word offers us a feast of encouragement. Thank you, Lord. You welcome me as a guest, anointing my head with oil. 
Help us to keep in mind that we are your prodigal children, welcomed home, forgiven, invited in. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and love will pursue me forever. I will live in the presence of the Lord all my days. Thank you for all the good things in our lives and for the promise of fullness of life with you. Amen. In the places of the everyday, in ordinary and extraordinary occurrences, in joy and delight, in just being and doing, in the rhythm of being and the routine of moving, God, never alone. in places of vibrancy, in exploring and learning, in journeying beyond and encountering new horizons, in leisure and rest, God, never alone. in places of heartbreak, among pain and loss, weariness and struggle, danger and despair, God, never alone. In places of safety, held and known, at peace and valued, welcomed and included, God, never alone. Where might you be in this scene today? whether in that landscape of the ordinary, in the place of vibrancy, in the place of heartbreak, or in the place of safety. The promise of God, the Good Shepherd, to you and all is this. You are never alone, for there is nowhere that God is not, never abandoned, never overburdened, never anonymous. He knows you and is with you. His core to receive life, life that nourishes, frees and affirms. His gaze always fixed on you. With love. His heart, the flourishing of all creation. His desire, our company. Listen for his invitation for you, for now. You belong, you matter, you have a purpose, 
you are never alone. Let us pray. Holy God, bringer of mercy and goodness, thank you that your heart for all creation is abundant life. Thank you that you are our protector and keeper, the one who withholds no good thing from any you have made. With all that you bless us with, may we follow your example in seeking the needy, supporting the lonely, including the forgotten, and journeying with the hunter. Through your church, may your love continue to be revealed in action. We pray for the despairing, for those who this week have suffered a loss, Be that of a loved one, a career, a loss of focus, a loss of purpose. In each and every situation, may you be present and active as the wounded saviour, in whose hands each can be steadied and strengthened. We pray for those unable to pray for themselves. Those who are weary because nothing seems to change. For the vulnerable and those in places of danger. We remember the hungry and the persecuted. For all those whose experience of life is of constant deprivation and need. And thank you for those who have protected and guided us, those who have supported us in times of need, who have kept company with us when our journey was dark and difficult. We remember those to whom we are connected by bonds of family and friendship. hold before you the challenges of this week, praying that you, faithful shepherd, might travel with us, strengthen us with your grace, and lead us deeper into your love. Amen. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. So may the mighty God shield you in the shadow of his wings. The good shepherd guide you and refresh you. The Holy Spirit strengthen you and affirm you. And the blessing of the one God envelop you, those whom you love and those for whom you pray, this day, this week and always. Amen. As Rachel plays us out with a hymn that reminds us that God takes us as he finds us, may we know him filling our lives, releasing us to shine the light of his kindness, hope, forgiveness and compassion wherever he places us just now. <laughs> 